So you have a PC and you want to run Android games on it. Okay, let's go for it. What's up everyone, it's Rex, and you're watching Fierce Rex YouTube channel. Today, in this video, we'll be talking about Android emulators. Android emulators are surprisingly popular. Playing mobile games on PC has a lot of advantages. You can use your mouse and keyboard for controls, and you can play games without burning through your phone's battery. Productive folks can take advantage of mobile apps for basically the same reason. Emulating Android on a computer is a lot easier than it used to be. So, I'll show you the best Android emulators for Windows. But before starting, yeah please do like and subscribe as it takes a lot of effort to make this kind of video. It'll be a top 5 video, and I'll be ranking the emulators completely from my opinion, so don't freak out if it doesn't match as yours. Anyways. In the first spot, we have Game Loop and have a peek at its minimum system requirements. This one is an Android emulator but just to play games, it's actually by Tencent, developers of several popular mobile games like PUBG Mobile. The installation process is simple, so you can get into this one in just a few minutes. Once installed, you can play a variety of games or use a variety of apps. It runs on even super low-end computers, and believe me you can run Free Fire or PUBG with 60fps in just 4GB RAM, and that too without GPU in your PC. It's a pretty good emulator just to play games, but if you want to run other Android apps, I wouldn't recommend you this. But for me I always prioritize games than other applications, so for me it's in number one position. And in the second spot, we have Bluestacks. And here is its minimum system requirements. You've heard this name for sure, Bluestacks is known by many users to be the most comprehensive Android app player in the market, and with good reason. Aside from running on both Windows and Mac, this emulator comes jam-packed with a ton of features to improve the gamer's experience. Its most popular features include the key mapping tool to create customized control schemes. The Instance Manager, through which you can create multiple instances of the emulator and run several games simultaneously, and quality of life features like Eco Mode, which help to reduce resource consumption while running the most demanding games. It's also the safest emulator out there, with certified GDPR compliance. The company is spending day and night just to update it and present us a better version of Bluestacks, right now the most recent version of Bluestacks is Bluestacks 5 which is till now the fastest and the lightest Android emulator. And for running Android apps, plus playing Android games I would recommend this one. Still, it requires kind of higher specs than GameLoop to provide the same quality experience in gaming. That's why it's in number 2. Moving on to the number 3 spot, we have LD Player. And here's a peek of its minimum system requirements. LD Player is a gamer-focused emulator, but you can run other stuff on it as well. The installation is similar in ease to GameLoop. You simply download a file, install it, open it, set it up, and off you go. It's easier to use than a lot of other entries. What makes LD Player fun is its extra features. You get a toolbar on the right side of the window that lets you quickly take screenshots, record videos, set up keyboard mapping, and other tools. LD Player is free, works smoothly, and has enough extra features to make it a good choice in this space. LD Player 9 runs Android 9, and that's good enough to run almost everything. So it's definitely a fine choice. And in the number 4 spot we have Menu Play. And this is the minimum system requirements of Memu Play. Memu Play is one of the older emulators on the list. Active development has kept it relevant all these years, and it's one of the better Android emulators you can get. It runs Android 7.1.2 according to the settings menu, so it's a relatively recent version of Android. Installation is relatively quick and painless, so that's another point for MeMU Play. MeMU Play also comes with a few neat perks. 
It has a natively built ability to run multiple instances if you're into that sort of thing. There is a key map function that lets you bind your mouse and keyboard to mobile games for easier play. One of our favorites is the ability to share files between MiMU Play and Windows using the shared download folder. MiMU Play looks and acts a lot like LD Player, so you can probably use either one interchangeably, depending on your needs. Lastly in the number 5 spot we have Knox Player. And here's a peek of its minimum system requirements. Knox Player was one of the original Android emulators and is still quite popular today. It runs Android 9, so the developers have done a good job keeping up. The installation process is easy. Just make sure you reject the optional offers. Once set up, you just log into Google Play and start doing your thing. Knox Player was among the first to have things like keyboard mapping. You'll recognize the toolbar along the right side of the window as it is fairly standard practice these days. You can also take screenshots, record videos, and do some other stuff. The main Knox player still runs Android 7.1, but there is a beta for Android 9 if you feel lucky. There is also a version for Mac, which makes this among the best options for Mac users. It's also free to download and use. It's pretty stable overall, and it competes favorably with the likes of LD Player, MiMU, and others. Okay so that's it guys, hope you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, and yeah, if you're still unsubbed. Please hit the red subscribe button, and make it gray, it's free. And you can always change your mind. Anyways. With all due respect, love your parents, respect your country, and most importantly, take care of yourselves. See you in another video, till then.